Hello students, this is Mr. Betancourt, and I realize this might be the first time some of you are actually seeing my face without a mask. I wanted to talk to you about what's going on with me because I like to think of our school being like a family and good families communicate. So I wanted to let you know how I'm doing. Thursday, I got tested for COVID and the test came back positive. I hadn't been feeling well on Wednesday, so I felt the need to get tested and took the next two days off. Well, now that I know that I'm positive, I have to take the next 10 days off. And I am, I am vaccinated, but much like a seatbelt, there's no 100% guarantee of safety. But I can imagine that if I weren't vaccinated, my symptoms would be much worse. Right now, I've been feeling very tired and achy, and as you can probably hear, my nose is pretty congested. And even when my nose is not congested, I don't seem to have a sense of smell, which is great if you like to cook bland foods because I can't taste them anyway. I was walking around in my yard this morning and I stepped on a dead possum. Normally I would smell such a dead mammal, but uh, I could not smell it until I uh, encountered it firsthand. And then I screamed and ran back inside and washed my feet. So that was different. I have to quarantine for the next 10 days. So I'll be back on the 27th, I believe, assuming everything goes well. Now, I am relatively young and healthy, and chances are I'm going to be just fine. But remember that we're wearing our masks and getting vaccinations, not just for the healthy people, but for the people who are at risk. The very young, the very old, the autoimmune compromised, and some people who are just unlucky. We're all trying to look out for each other to make sure this thing ends quickly. One more thing I want to tell you before I go. I am an English teacher. If you have a question about English or grammar or spelling, I'm the guy to talk to. I've spent years studying this stuff and almost 20 years teaching it. I'm experienced and I know what I'm talking about. But when it comes to medicine or how to fix a car or how to do Kung Fu, I'm not the guy to ask. There are experts for these things. So go talk to them, please. Part of being smart is knowing when you're out of your element. If you wanna learn about medicine or viruses, go and talk to a doctor or a medical professional. These people are not hard to find. It's not like trying to find a master falconer. They're around. Chances are you see a doctor at least once a year anyway. Talk to them, talk to an expert when you wanna get informed. Don't let Google be your guide. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope to see you on the 27th. Bye, take care.